Some of you might wonder why pastor's still preaching about prayer. <laughs> I could spend a year on talking on prayer. It's you got to learn to talk to Jesus. <laughs> you know, I think it's very important. I'm backtracking from last week just a little bit because does God answer prayers? That is a question that the church has asked for years. The religious church. See, a, a blood-bought church knows the answer is prayers because when we ask them into our lives, we know that we're a changed person. Amen. Right? Amen. I mean, no, being blood-bought is important. Yeah. See, we can't preach religion. I don't want none of that religion stuff, and I'm not putting it all down, but in the same sense, religion will hold you bondage to not have Christ. They'll put you on rules and regulations, and Christ says you're free in me. That doesn't mean you're free not to do what the Word says. It means that you're free in me and I'm not binding you. I'm not going to measure you to the hem of your skirt. You can't enter in if it's not a certain height. Or if you have Jezebel makeup on, you can't come through the door. I've been to that church. I've been to that church. And that's not a good church. No. Do you know why? Because you're judging people. That's right. Jesus always went to the sinner's home. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right. yeah. He never went to the the, the king's palace and all that. No, he went to the sinner's home and he was out with the prostitutes talking to them and reasoning with them and loving them in their environment. Mm -hmm. How many know that's important? Yes, it is. Loving in their environment. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. See, this world's their environment. We're not of this world anymore. No, we're not. Right? We exist in this environment, but we don't, we're not from this environment anymore because we divorce ourselves from the situation. When we ask Jesus Christ, we're no longer bound by the things of flesh in this world, but we're aligned with the things of the heavenly things in our lives that Christ brings through Him. How I many know that's important? Yeah. Yeah. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to You. Lord, we thank you that we could be in your presence. And Father, I just ask that you would be in this service. Let it not be about us, but about you. Lord, I release my faculties to you. Let it be your words, not mine. Lord, I just pray that you would take over. Let your Holy Spirit move upon our hearts and minds. We pray this in the name of Jesus. And everyone said, Amen. Amen. Matthew 21, 2 says, and go ahead and put it up, Cameron. Matthew 21, 22. We'll put it up for you guys. If you believe, you will receive whatever you ask in prayer. And in this version that I'm going to read to you, it says, And all things you ask in prayer, believe, you will receive. Yes. Okay. Let's break it down. Let's break this down. Let's be honest. If you believe. There's an if in there. What does that mean? A responsibility. If means... It's on you. Yep. If means that you must, what? Have an action to this. Believe is the action word here. Believing is important. How many know that's true? When you marry your wife or your husband, your spouse, you believe that you love that person to marry them, right? Yeah. That night you might find a different person. <laughs> But you believed you were in love. Until you had to put up with their stinky socks and all the other stuff as my wife had to deal with. She literally put my shoes out on the front porch because they stunk so bad. She was ready to gag. She says, that's nasty. She goes, you're in the shower now, mister. As soon as I come home from work. God's good, though. Because I did have stinky feet. My son went through that too. He had really bad stinky feet. And it's important that we understand believing. I believe I love her. Therefore I know I love her. Because it transmits from believing into knowing. Amen. 
knowing is important. Knowing that God is true, not just believing. How many know believing is the first step to knowing? Yeah. Yeah. Believing has to become an action, right? An action word, I believe. But see, once you receive, then you know. Right? Yeah. So, I believe I paid my power bill, but when you flip on the switch, you know you did, right? Yeah. Let's be honest. Mm -hmm. Is that a smart way of looking at it? Yeah. You know that it was paid. Yeah. Or, this is the other one that I like, is trust. I trust that it'll be done. Yeah. Trust means that something's able to be broken. Yeah. But with God, it's not able to be broken because He does not break His end of the bargain. Amen. So, all things, whatsoever you ask, in prayer, believing, you shall receive. So, and all the things that I ask in prayer is depending on this. Believing. Yeah. Believing means that you believe and you will receive. Yep. So I believe that when I ask, I'll receive what I ask for. Philippians 4.19. Yeah, I love this verse. Jerry loves this one too. Philippians 4.19. <laughs> but my God shall supply all your needs according to His riches in what? Glory by who? Christ, Christ Jesus. Jesus. Where's glory? Heaven. Yeah. The heavenly place, right? Yeah. So, but my God, well, wow, wait a minute. My God. Amen. Yeah. That became a, not an action, but an absolute. Right. My God, my Jesus. wife, my kids, right? Yeah. Mine. My God. But my God shall supply all your needs according to what? Not man's riches, but yeah. his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Woo! Woo! You should start shouting right there. Yeah, promise. That's a guarantee. There ain't no promise. You know, guarantee's only as good as the man that writes it. Right? right. How many know that's true? Yeah, that's right. We, now they call it warranty. They don't call it guarantee now. Because warranty can be voided. Yeah. <laughs> Warranties can be voided, but guarantees are guaranteed. Right. So when you watch an infomercial, they say, money back guaranteed in the 90 days, but it takes 90 days to get it. Yeah. yeah. So your, your guarantee is over with. Or you get three days before the, the guarantee is over, right? Mm -hmm. It starts from the date of purchase. Yeah. It's a gimmick. <laughs> right? We've all been there. Come on. I've been there. Yeah. I guarantee it. Yeah. <laughs> you remember that old boy on the coast that Good used to? Man. You remember that old boy on the coast that uh, used to sell all kinds of forts? We got him coming in, stacking in, blah 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 yeah. blah. And he got sued because he was such a big shyster. Yeah. They found out he was putting sawdust in the transmissions to make him go and all this stuff. Quiets him down. But boy, did that boy make a lot of money. Then he ran away. <laughs> yeah. Went to two different states at the same time. You remember who I, I'm talking about, don't you? I can't remember his name, but that guy was the biggest one in the, in the nation. God will supply all your needs. Yeah. But my God shall supply all your needs. Yeah. Who's your God? Hmm. Jesus. Is it your money? Is it your bank account? Is it your government? No. Huh? Come on. No. I'm Republican. Or is it Jesus? <laughs> or is it Jesus? In Christ Jesus. There's the key. In riches and glory by Christ Jesus alone. Yes. Just like us being having salvation, by Christ Jesus alone do we have salvation. Amen? Amen. So let's look at Ephesians 3.20. Ephesians 3.20. Now unto him that is able to do exceedingly, 
abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that worketh in us. What's the power that worketh in you? Is it the evil one or is it the godly one? The true God. Okay, now. Now unto him that is able to do. He is able to do. Then say will. He is able to, right? Exceedingly means way beyond. Abundantly means you can't measure it. Above all that we ask or think. What do you think about God sometimes? God, I wish you'd answer my prayer. God, how many would... Come on, let's be honest. We know that, right? We're, re we're real. If we're not real, He can't be real in our lives. Let's quit being this thing that we're not... I get so tired. How many of you know that it's, it gets old when people act like everything's fine, nothing wrong? Really? I have a friend that I call quite often, and they say, everything's fine. It's fantabulous, or it's fantastic. And I remind them that's not always true. Now tell me the truth. Not calling them a liar, but I don't want to hear word offerings. I want to hear truth. See, God doesn't want word offerings. He wants truth from your heart. How you really feel about Him. In your finances, in your walk, in your family life, in your marriage, yeah. in your work, everything you do, he wants the truth. Yeah. He doesn't want lip service. That's right. He wants true believers. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Pastor, you're being deep here. That's all right. You'll get over it. <laughs> Psalms 34, 17. The Holy Spirit does the work, not me. The truth will always reveal the darkness, right? Yeah. Okay, and it makes the darkness leave. The righteous cry, and the Lord hear it. Now, whoo -hoo, who's the righteous? Us. Yeah. He didn't ask for self-righteous in yourself. Yeah. He asked the saints, the people that are righteous by Christ. Yeah. Amen. It's because what are our what's our righteousness? As filthy rags, right? right. How many know that's a bad thing? Right? Self-righteousness, bad. Christ's righteousness, good. Yeah. The righteous cry and the Lord hears and delivers them out of all their troubles. That's a mic drop right there. Yeah. The righteous cry and the Lord hears and delivers them out of all their troubles. So when we pray, why aren't we seeing results? Because we don't believe that's true. See, you got to know, not just believe, but you got to know that what God's Word is true. Yeah. Amen. And it's a yay and amen. Yeah. Marcy, can you come up forward for a minute? My wife's going to, I asked her to be a part of this today. You want a mic? When you pray, things happen. Yep. I want you to hear what's happening. Uh, Mind you, she had 3% function in her kidneys. In April. In April. Hear this. And as of July 14th, I have 41% function of my kidneys. Alright, alright. And the bad things, creatinine, was at 8.7 in April, and of July 14th, they are 1.8. Alright. Yay. That's prayer. That is prayer. Oh, my, calcium, potassium. Oh, my magnesium, magnesium. in um, April was non-existent. And of July, it is 1.4. Good. All right. All my numbers are going up. Good. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. If you don't believe me that prayer doesn't work, you call me a liar. 
There it is. That's fine. I have proof. Yeah. God likes to prove things. Yes. How many know that? Yes. You know, when He asks us to give, He says, Prove me. See if I will not pour out a blessing on you. Like it. He challenges you. That's See right. if I will not do something that nobody else can do. That's right. That's right. If God challenges us in our finances, how much more does He challenge us to have faith? Yes. Yes. See if I will not yeah. deliver them out yeah. of their times of trouble. Yeah. yeah. Prove to me yeah. that you have faith and I'll prove to you yeah. that I'll deliver you from this. Yes. Yeah. Come on. That's what it says. Peter called out, Jesus, is that you? Yeah. While Jesus is cruising out the water yeah. in the storm. Just yeah. chilling. I understand. I know I've seen his boat. <laughs> and he's just a chilling. Peter said, is that you, <laughs> Lord? It is I. Yeah. If so, call me out. Come. Did he really just say that? Yeah. <laughs> He's like, are you sure it's you? Uh, hey, dummy, I just said it. Yes, come. I'm paraphrasing. So he gets on the water. Hey, he's cruising up to Jesus. Then he's looking around. This is impossible. And then his faith diminishes. That's right. And he begins to sink. Uh, and guess what happens? Then Jesus has to pull him out of that water because he, he said, Jesus, Savior, help me. Mm. Right? Yeah. As the water's probably going down his throat. He took his eyes off Jesus. Yeah. He took the eyes off the promise. Yeah. And that's Jesus Christ. That's right. See, when we take our eyes off the promise, yeah. we lose vision of the truth. Yes. And our faith can have a gap. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. How many have ever heard of gap insurance? <laughs> so if you ever get in an accident and you know that you're getting hosed by the guy that sold you the car, so now you're going to have to have better insurance to cover even more than what the car is worth because you got hosed. Okay. I'm just, it's paraphrased, of course. Yeah. Now, understand this. They sell you an extra insurance to cover that extra amount, so they'll pay for the full loan for you yeah. in case you get totaled up. Yeah. <laughs> and they call it gap insurance. Well, I thought that's what full coverage meant in the first place, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Right? So it's another scam for the insurance company to make more money. Yep, true. So, how is it that the church can sell things that aren't truthful? Yeah. Donate some money and I'll give you this miracle water. You can drink it or you can anoint things with it. And things will happen. Yeah. Like hmm. But you got to give $19.99 for it. Uh -huh. A gift of. A gift of. Yeah, well. Yeah. So is that any different than the infomercial that says, it's only $19.99 and there's a guarantee. Right? Yeah. Is it any different? Not a bit. See, I don't sell God's house. No. I promote God's house. Come on. God's not for sale. That's true. You cannot buy, the rich man could not buy his way into heaven. Right. Couldn't take his money with him. Jesus said you need to go and sell it all. Yeah. And give to the poor. Yeah. He says you're asking me to do something that's too hard. Yeah. Because you love the possessions instead of loving Jesus. Yeah. Jesus is our possession. Yes, he Come is. on. That's yeah. right. Somebody needs to start shouting, Jesus yes. is our possession. Yes, Amen. he is. Right? He is our gift. Yeah. He is our riches. Yes. You don't believe me, riches and glory, right? Come on. Yeah. Then this will deliver them out of their troubles. Yes. When you call on the name of the Lord, he will hear you in heaven and he will answer you. Yes. <clears throat> yeah. It said he will. Yeah. Say he may be. There ain't no maybes, baby. No maybes. Yeah. He will. Yeah. He will hear you. He will hear your heart's cry. Yes. Come on. 
He responds to His people. Yeah. We just don't see or take time to see the answer. That's right. 90% of the time we're blinded to it. Then a two months later we're like, well, He really did do something there. Yeah. Duh. Well, let's give glory to Him then. As soon yeah. as you recognize, give glory to God, right? Amen. Testimony, yeah. Thank you. Thanking God for answered prayers. Yeah. Yep. One of the most frequent prayers we should pray in a prayer of thanksgiving, we should be grateful for all the prayers God has answered, yes. even the ones He hasn't. Right. Mm. Not just the ones that he's answered with yes and amen. But Lord has bestowed mercy upon us in every breath that we breathe. That we should be released in prayer to him will be answered whether you like the answer or not. Let's look at 1 Thessalonians 5.18. First Thessalonians 5.18 In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. For this is. Is means is, right? Means that it, it's an absolute. How many deal with it? How many like to deal with absolutes? It's absolutely garbage or it's absolutely true, right? Yeah. Well, this is an absolute. In everything, give thanks. That's telling you what you need to do. How many believe that we need to do that? Yeah. Amen. How many, you don't have to raise your hand, but how many of us lack in that area? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Me. For this is the will of God. Yeah. God's will is for you to thank Him for what He's done. How many get mad when you do something for your kids and they don't even say thank you? <laughs> oh, come on. We've all been there. No, don't no. ever think. Uh, yeah. Jerry, how many times do you want to take that belt off and whoop their little tails? <laughs> There's times you're like, you ungrateful little brat. Really? All that I've done for you and you're like this. Nobody's ever felt that way, I know. But, how do you think God feels? How do you think how God feels when we don't do what He said in His Word? Yeah. In everything, give thanks. Every day. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning what? You Amen. and me. The will of God in Christ Jesus. Woo! Yeah. I'd rather be in His will, wouldn't you? Yeah, right? So I'm going to give Him thanks. Carolyn, you may not feel perfect, but you can give Him thanks. Jesus, thank you! Yeah. Amen. Right? Amen. I may not like my circumstance, but Jesus, thank you! Yes. Amen. Because I know it's going to turn around. It's not going to stay the same. How many know as long as you live with, for Christ, you know that things are constantly changing all the time? <laughs> In truth. Yeah. All right. Let's look at Psalms chapter 118, verse 21. I love this scripture. I will praise thee, for thou hast heard me, and art become my salvation. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I'll read it in this text. I shall give thanks to you for you have answered me and you have become my salvation. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You. Yeah. Not you. You. Him. Yeah. Let's look at 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 11. I don't know if I'm going to get through this sermon. I'm going to probably have to do it next week too. Who's getting tired of it? Not me. Crickets. It's crickets. <laughs> Let's look at 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 11. 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 11. 
You also helping together by prayer for you. Yea, also helping together by prayer for you. That, your, uh, that for the gift bestowed upon us by the means of many persons, thanks may be given by many on our behalf. I'll read this to you in this text. You also joining and helping us through your prayers so that thanks may be given by many persons on our behalf for the favor bestowed on us through the prayers of many. That clarified it even more. The prayers of many. So many should give thanks for what God is doing in you. He doesn't want just your glory. He wants our glory for what He's doing in you. So God, I give glory for what you're doing in Carolyn's life. Yes. We should get excited, right? I give glory for what God's doing in your life. Yeah. Literally. Amen. God's teaching yeah. you to do things you never thought you were going to do. <laughs> like trust somebody. Yes. Oh, come on. Hmm. Every one of us has had a trust issue of some sort. That's right. That's true. Can't argue that. But I trust Jesus. Yeah. And I trust His Word is true. And I trust that His Word is faithful. Yeah. Amen? Amen. Psalm 66, verse 1 through 5. Psalm 66, verse 1 through 5. Make a joyful noise unto God, all ye lands. Sing forth the honor of his name. Make his praises praise glorious. Say unto God, How terrible art thou in thy works. Through the greatness of thy power shall thine enemies submit themselves unto thee. All the earth shall worship thee and shall sing unto thee. They shall sing to thy name. See love. Come and see the works of God. He is terrible in his doing towards the children of men. I'll read it in this version. Everything on earth shout with joy for God. Sing about His glory. Make His praises glorious. Say to God, Your works are amazing. Your power is great. Your enemies fall before you. All the earth worships you. They sing praises to you. They sing praises to your name. Come and see what God has done. See what amazing things He has done for people. Aren't we part of His people? Yes, we are. Aren't we a part of His amazing work? Yeah. I'm a work of art. Yeah. I'm a one of a kind. <laughs> Amen. Right? Amen. You remember that song, I'm an Indian Outlaw? Come on. Half check teen chop oh, My baby, she's a chip of all. She's a one of a kind. I'm a one of a kind. Yeah. I just heard that on the radio the other day. <laughs> I was like, I haven't heard that in a long time. Oh, yeah. You're like, Pastor, is that scriptural? No. <laughs> Pastor is a heathen, I guess. But one of a kind, yeah. Yes, but you I get, am one of a get. kind. <laughs> My mama says, thank God there ain't any more. I do not reserve any rights to that song by any chance. So just so you know, for those out there. You got to sing it for 20 seconds. I didn't even say the artist, so. First Chronicles 16, 8 through 9.
Give thanks unto the Lord. Call upon His name. Make known His deeds among the people. Sing unto Him. Sing psalms unto Him. Talk ye of all His wondrous works. I'll read this version. Give thanks to the Lord and proclaim His greatness. Let the whole world know what He has done. Sing to Him, yes, sing His praises. Tell everyone about His miracles. Do we tell enough people about what God does for us? The greatest miracle in all my life was finding Him. Yeah. Come on. The greatest miracle in my whole life, and you should have that same statement, yeah. was my salvation found in Christ right. alone. Amen. That's the greatest miracle Jesus ever did, was transforming lives by the power of the cross and the resurrection of Him. Amen. Um, <laughs> amen. Yeah, amen. It's true. I'll just read this one. Psalm 66, 17. Psalms 66, 17. It says, I cried out to him with my mouth, and his praises was on my tongue. 17. Psalm 66, 17. Psalm 63, 1. O oh God, Thou art my God. Early will I seek Thee. My soul thirsteth for Thee. My flesh longeth for Thee in a dry and thirsty land where no water is. I'll read this on my version here for you. O oh God, You are my God. Earnestly I seek You. My soul thirsts for You. My body yearns for You in a dry and weary land without water. Sounds like America, doesn't it? Yeah. People are thirsty. People are thirsty. I said this reference once before, and I will say this. You're welcome, Sandy Patty. People need the Lord. Yes, they do. She sang one of the prettiest songs I've heard. I remember when we... We had a, we were in Randall, Washington, a town smaller than this, if you believe that. Randall, Washington had uh, 179 people and like 15 dogs and so many cats. Mm -hmm. 478. And lots of beautiful deer and elk and bear. <laughs> and lots of beautiful fish. Yeah. God's country up there. Yep. Yeah. We had an artesian well there at the parsonage that went 150 feet deep and it was cold water. It would actually turn your cup into a frosty mug almost. Wow. Oh, wonderful water. Never had water so pure in my life. I drank it so much. I loved it. I would bring gallons of it to football practice because I didn't want to drink the garbage they were giving us. Yeah. Excluding the water here, I don't drink it either. Now Bruce has a good well out there. When we see that the God gives water to the thirsty soul, Jesus is the river of life. Yes, yes. Jesus is the bread of life. He's the lion of Judah. He's the lamb of God. He's Yeshua. Yeah. He is our peace. He's our deliverer. Yeah. He's our friend. Yeah. He's the lover of our soul. Yes, he is. He's the King of Kings. 
<laughs> He's the Lord of Lords. Am I getting somewhere? Yeah. He's your sustenance. Yeah. He's our peace. He's our truth. Yeah. If God's telling us to trust Him, yeah. believe, and ask, and expect an answer, yeah. don't you think that's... An, how many times have you ever talked to your kid and you say, I expect an answer now? <laughs> Response, please. Yeah. Response is necessary. How many of you have ever had to say that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not a trick question. It's not a trick question. This is not a this is not a where you be silenced now. You must respond. Yeah. What do you want me to say? There should be I left it at an open, not an open ended question. It's you're gonna either do it or you're not. So answer yeah. it. See God does that to us and we don't want to answer. That's true. We want to give excuses. Well, I guess God don't want to answer my prayers. Mm -hmm. What? What do you mean you don't want to answer your prayers if you didn't read the Word, obviously, or you're not living in the Word, or the Word's not living in you? Yeah. You're not allowing the Word, which is Christ, right? He was The Word was with God, and God was with the Word in the beginning, right? So if the Word's in us, then the Word should be living in us, right? Therefore, everything we speak and do should be of the living God. So when he says, ask, and don't doubt, That's right. you will receive. So, how many times have you asked and given up? Too many. I have. I've walked away from the table just when God was ready to answer my prayer. Yeah. 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 I'm going to continue next week. I'm going to get you guys out of here. But God loves you so much that He instructs you on what you got to do yeah. to get results. Yeah. Everything in Christ is yea and amen. amen. We need to start believing bigger. Don't just believe for tomorrow. What about for next week? What about, hey, you know what, God? I believe that you can change my finances so much that I don't have to worry for the whole year. I believe that you can transform that. Not me, not anything I do other than trusting in you yep. and be obedient in the process. How many know that's important? Yes, Obedience, right. you cannot get an answer or you cannot show that you're um, following if you're not obedient. Yeah. Obedience is not submission. Obedience is following and doing as you're asked. Then submission comes in when you say, it's not my will, but yours. Yeah. Come on. Christ, he was obedient by going to the cross, but he submitted himself to God's authority when he said, God, take this cup from me, but if it not be your will, so be it. Yes. Paraphrase. Right. Take this cup from me, please, Father. I don't want to die on that cross. I don't want to suffer. I don't want to get beat. I don't want my face unrecognizable. I don't want those things, my bones to be broken. I don't want that. I don't want to go through that. Who in their right mind would? Yeah. Knowing what the Romans, the reputations being raised in their, in their society, knowing their reputation of how brutal they are, do you think anybody in their right mind would want to go through that? No. I would be almost angry at Christ for not almost, I said. I would almost not understand, would you just go in blindly? He never went blindly. He went knowing what he would endure for you and I. That's, he chose that. Yes. He chose it. For us. For you and I. And his prayer was answered when he said, but not my will, Father, but your will be done. Amen. He wanted to make sure it was his will. And he, he just said, God, you sure you really, Daddy, you really want me to do this? Because I'll do it, but you sure? 
right? I would be, I, I would be like, I'm not doing it. We should be sure about His will. For but us. we need to be sure about Jesus in our lives. Yes. Amen. We shouldn't be asking, well, is this your will for me in my life to have Jesus? God's already made that known. So that's a dumb question. Yeah, that's a good one. Okay, that's like a given. We should know that it's God's will because He sent His Son who died on that cross and rose from the dead. And He rose with victory. He didn't just rise. He rose with victory. Amen. Amen. And He wasn't the only one that rose that day. When we read the Scriptures, many rose. Could you imagine yeah. Granddaddy popping up saying, Hey, how y'all doing? Yeah. I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> hey, Grams, how you doing? You got married again? Why'd you do that? Huh. I just went to sleep. I'm back. Oh, you got old. <laughs> yeah. But God's good, isn't he? Yes, he is. See, the resurrection power is the same power that day that it does in our lives when we find him, yeah. Jesus Christ. The prayers that we have, we're asking the one that has all authority in heaven and earth. Yeah. It's been given to him by the Father. The Father wants to grant your requests. We gotta believe and not doubt. Amen. Yes. We'll continue next week, but God bless you. We're not gonna sing that song today, but that's okay. I love you guys. Let me pray with you real quick. Dear Heavenly Father, I just pray that your presence would be in their lives, that they would have boldness in their prayers, and know that what they ask is shall be done. Yeah. Lord have encouragement not discouragement in their hearts yeah. lift them up Lord send your Holy Spirit to comfort them and give them a peace that you are on the case for each and every one of them we pray this in the precious name of Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior Amen, Amen. If you would like me to pray for you today I'm here the altars are open I urge you don't leave before you talk to Jesus. Amen. Today.